Hey guys, welcome back. It is time for another Pokemon Card Artist Spotlight. This time we are going with Koki Saitu. And uh, this is sort of fitting because at the Baltimore Regionals coming up in September, there will be a signing of sorts. The, the details aren't totally there, but uh, I figured it's a good time, as good a time as any, to go through the artworks. Maybe if you're looking to get something signed, this can spark some ideas of which cards you'd like to see. All right, let's read through the Bomapedia biography here. Born May 13th, 1973, is a freelance illustrator who does work for the Pokemon trading card game. Prior to this, he did a lot of manga illustrations for popular Japanese game tie-ins under his, I don't know if this is one-fourth king or quarter king label. He has also designed a num number of characters and mascots that feature on his website as part of a fantasy land called... Kortlek, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, which showcase his quirky yet detailed drawing style. It seems like the, the website itself is not working currently, or maybe it moved. So if anyone knows that, let me know down in the comments as well. When we do these artist spotlights, I'd like to hear what your guys' favorites are. If you have some favorites, if you have a single favorite, if you have one that you didn't realize was this artist, if you discovered this artist, if you collect this artist, let me know all of those things down below. We got work for the TCG. Saitu's images focus on realism and dynamism. Many of his illustrations are reminiscent of the style in which characters are portrayed in the anime, though he uses light and shadow effectively to give them more depth. He also uses high and low angles to enhance the feeling of movement in many of his images. Saitu's first illustrations were featured in the Aquapolis expansion, and he has continued to produce work for the TCG since. He has also produced artwork used on deck kits, booster packs, and many pieces of merchandise sold through Pokemon Centers. For a list of cards he has illustrated, go here. We're Again, we're going to go to pkmncards.com. I'll put links to the pages that we just looked at in the description, and... Uh, Maybe the the information for the, the Baltimore regionals as well, the dates for that. All right, let's take a look through. We're in alphabetical order here, starting off with the A's. We got 10 pages to go through, 574 cards. There may or may not be more. Uh, as mentioned, some of the artwork uh, from the artist is on booster packs and other merchandise, but uh, but yeah. There also could be some Japanese cards. We're looking at the English ones today. I know, guys, yellow borders, they're the best. <laughs> if you agree or disagree, do let me know. But uh, you'll either be wrong or right, depending. You'll be very right if you like the English yellow borders. All right. Aselgore, Aegislash, Aerodactyl, Agron. That Alakazam is pretty sweet, nasty, definitely has to be up there, one of the, the favorites. I think the, the art style itself lends itself really well um, to the actual Pokemon universe. Very, very, very um, Pokemon art style. Some of the artists, you can see, uh, it looks like something would be in the anime. Others, not so much. And uh, I think Saitu's artwork is definitely on the, uh, the side of looks like it fits the, the anime style itself. That Alolan Raichu, gotta like that that boy there. Very, very cool. I'll try and go through somewhat slowly. I know you guys like to take a look at the artwork itself, and we'll we'll note anything that uh, that's really cool. I do like this Ampharos. Uh, I think it lends itself really well to the, the hollow foil pattern that's on there. Uh, anything with electricity and dark, again, pretty cool. Uh, also underwater would be cool. This would probably make for a really cool hollow card. In terms of Anoriths, I know not a not exactly a, a fan favorite. Beautiful Arcanine here. We have again in the uh, the baby shiny baby shiny zone. We have uh, the Arceus. This was part of the uh, the Arceus set that had the rings on it. Uh, where if you kind of line them all up, it's kind of a shame that they don't uh, line up to be able to put in like a nine slot binder or something. But cool that you'd be able to. Um, I can't remember if I've seen anyone make a frame or anything to have these all in a row uh, so that the, the waves, these lines, line up. The ADP statue, 
back in the day when alt arts were becoming a thing. Um, beautiful card, extremely expensive. Not was it not only was it playable, but also the the artwork was extremely sought after as well. We got a couple of Archeops, an Avalug, a Zumaro. So we got some we got some new, we got some old. We're all the way back to uh, the EX Dragon here. Pretty cool. We got the Bagon. This is a Bagon from. Uh, I don't think I realized that the Dragon Vault uh, was reprinted in Plasma Blast, but apparently it was. Very interesting. Not exactly sure on the total history of that set itself, but I do have quite a few of the cards, I believe. Like a small, small dragon set, and then it also had some, uh, some versions that were printed with the, the set logo. A couple nice beedrills here. I don't know. I d beedrill art always seems to be good. Like the new altar beedrill is badass. Uh, this one here, you gotta like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a beedrill fan. Like this Blossom here, kind of cool. We got the, the other Blossoms dancing in the background, kind of uh, hollow foiled out. Certainly interesting. We got a Badoo for Billy. We got a Babarel coming up to the shore. I do like this Babarel art style uh, a little bit more than the Badoof here. Uh, I get that they're different eras, different styles entirely. It doesn't even look like it would be from the same artist, but I can assure you it definitely is. This Bergmite, again, Bonus points for trainers in the background. I feel like we're seeing more of that recently, and I'm all for it. When you get the Pokemon with the trainer and they look like they're battling or something, way, way better, in my opinion, for the most part. We got the Blaziken. Do you like this Blaziken here? Uh, that was reprinted, again, in the, uh, the Dragon Majesty. It's always cool to look through these pages, too, because... Sometimes you don't realize that some of the new artwork is reprints. People asking for reprints all the time. Uh, here's a great example of a reprint. It'd be interesting to know. It looks like it's pretty much a one-to-one, -one, but it'd be cool if the artist did like a rehash of the same artwork, similar artwork, with a lot of the time their style will change. So it'd be cool to, to see how their up-to-date version would be. If, they, if you gave them their old image and you said, hey, what does your art style look like? Uh, on this on this this time if you redid it what would it look like see a lot of that with like our uh, artist progress uh, but also just to see how even if even if the artwork is different or their style is different has adapted over the years sometimes in this case could be many many years would be cool i think that would make for a cool set if you're going to do reprints or something like that, I think that's probably the the way to go. Then it's something new, but also a throwback. We got the Buzzwool smashing the rocks. It's a man, the the like variety in artwork here is absolutely insane. Like the the style differences uh between some of the old and new and sometimes even around the same era is just it's pretty crazy. Also awesome looking supporter trainer cards. Love them. I think there's more coming up later on. We get the Celestilia, Celestila. Again, baby shiny. Seems like a baby shiny artist. Probably the most well-known is the Crystal Charizard. Uh, I know people are either hit or miss on the Crystal Charizard, but I think it's nice. I like it. It's. Uh, I'm not. Again, I'm not a Charizard baller, but uh, but I do I do appreciate this artwork. The Delta Species artwork as well. I think the Delta Species might be a little nicer than the the Crystal. But again, it might be just a pose, depending on what you like. Also, pretty drastically different art styles that we see there. We got the Fuller Charizard EX promo from XY. We got some uh, Charmanders and Charmeleons. Very cool. Also cool to see when uh, when stuff is reused into, like, uh, this is like the Plusso and Menon decks. Uh, you can see where the same artwork was in there around the same era. Same goes with the uh, with the McDonald's stuff. So like this guy here, uh, they got reused in the, the McDonald's 25th anniversary with the starters. We got the Chin Chu, Chin Chow for Miles right there. The uh, Chin Chino, Cinderace. Man, I, I really like the, uh, the pre-release promos when they use a different artwork. Um, I think it's just awesome. Combusk in here, awesome. I think this might be my favorite uh, 
art style from uh, from side two from this particular artist. Um, it's it's got like the sketchy look, but it's it's just awesome, pretty awesome. The combuskins here, also cool that we got multiple of the same Pokemon by the same artist. We got the the winter stamped combuskin here, pretty cool. Credilly, I do like this Credilly. A little bit action packed going on. We got the nighttime sky. Cranidos. We have that. We got a, a good variety of Pokemon here, but I guess that happens when you uh, when you do as much art as this. You're bound to you're bound to hit a lot of different Pokemon, and uh, it's nice to see a, a good a variety here. We got the Dugong from Sky Ridge. A couple of Deoxys cards. Four. Dupiter, Delmise. Definitely uh, an interesting Pokemon. I don't know if I've run into anyone yet that said Adelmise was their favorite Pokemon. I don't know if that's a thing. Again, we got the character in the background. Love when they do that. We got the Giovanni with the Diglett. Very menacing. The Dredagon. I've seen a lot of Plasma Blast recently. So immediately recognize that. Unfortunately, did not find any Nutrition Error Dredagons. Would have been would have been nice. Ooh, we got the the Duskull down there peeking at us. The Duskull from Storm Stormfront, Stormfront, and uh, that's the uh, shiny boy. I do like those shinies. Uh, I think I have a few of them. Probably still need to pick up the others. We have an Eevee that was used three times. We got it in the Suicune deck. We got it in the McDonald's Confetti, and we got it in the Ancient Origins. Very cool. I like that Sandstorm Eevee. Looking cute. We got the Eldegoss. Very cool. As we'll see, this is uh, sort of a, a themed uh, with the path going through here. We got the Smeargle. We got the Mawile. Uh, what is it? Meowth as well, I think. That's probably what the f footprints are from here. We'll, we'll keep an eye out for those cards coming up. There is a Mawile, which is pretty sweet. Uh, gotta like that. Electrek, Electrode, I should know all of the ones in there. We got MC's Cheer, very nice trainer card. Again, uh, one of my favorites in terms of the, the trainer cards. Uh, very nice work there. I guess we can slow down a little bit. We'll go Espeon VMAX, beautiful artwork and cool to see. Um, different artists again getting a chance to to give their take on a, an alternate art card and this is a beautiful one I might be a little bit biased because on release day when my my stuff was a little bit late getting here I went out locally picked up an elite trainer box and and pulled this bad boy from that well worth it it will never work again in that way but it, it was a nice little treat to make up for the fact that I, I didn't get my product on a release day Baby shiny phalanx. We got more delta species. Always cool to see the Flareon delta species here. Flareon from delta species. Flabebe for alligator. Is there a reason why the Flareon is fire type with the delta species? Is it because they weren't all? Maybe I wasn't paying attention. When I was looking through those sets before, we got a couple flagons. I love when a flagon is hollow and his eyeballs, his eyeball covers, whatever you want to call them, are are transparent and glowing. The level X, especially, really, really awesome card. Uh, but uh, even on a hollow foil like this, I'm not sure if the eyeballs are actually uh, designed to let the the hollow pattern through on the background. If so, definitely a, a bonus. All right. Page four, we're coming through here, extra hot. We got another baby shiny, another baby shiny. Lots of baby shinies. We got the Guard of War from Platinum Base. Gengar Ghastly, Geodude, and Gibble. We got the Giratina as well. Very cool. I like the, uh, the background here with the, uh, we got some like lightning bolts. We got some rocks floating around. Certain stuff, certain cards, uh, definitely a bonus 
when uh, when they're hollow foil. We got the same thing going on with the Groudon down on the bottom here. The Gorbis two third art, whatever you want to call it, it's kind of covered up a little bit here, but uh, it'd be cool to see these as the uh, the reverse slot, like in future sets or something like that. Have like a either a character rare or something like this. Um, to replace the reverses that are a little bit stale at this point. I think they could do something a little bit more exciting. We got the Groudon with the rocks flying around. We got the Groudon with the, uh, I don't know if there's like steam or what going on on the bottom. The Grumpig, the Guzzlord, the Gyarados. Very, very cool. Got like that Gyarados. That's in that art style that we had mentioned earlier. It seems like anything in around that era, uh, the artist was... Doing a lot of that like line line work, I guess. We got the Heracross, kind of the same idea. Really nice shading, um, and the like the lines to accent just just doing it for me. Like this one on the left, I think, in my opinion, in my uh, a a lot uh, more my style compared to the uh, the Heracross on the right here. Very cool that he's in the gym there. Uh, and battling, but uh, that shading, the shading and line work on the the older ones here, pretty iconic, I think. We got some very new stuff here in terms of like the Hisuian Pokemon. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, and again, very different from a lot of the other artwork styles from this particular art artist. The Hitmonchan, like this with the the gloves, get the punch action. Punches so fast that you're seeing four gloves on one hand. We got the Hitmon Lees, Hitmon Chans, Ho Oh. Kind of nice. What is this? Call of Legends. Nice that they, they had the the same artist do the the duo and the Hitmon Chan and Hitmon Lee. Alright, we're getting back. We're getting into the, the trainer cards. I, man, I like trainer cards. Pokemon with trainers. Everything about it is just awesome. It just it feels it feels a lot better than just a, a Pokemon slapped on a on a uh, on a background whether it's plain or not. We got the Holon Adventurer, Farmer, Lass, Mentor, Mentor again, reprinted. I don't know if that, that must have been like extra playable or something if they they put it in another set. This is the, the Hopip uh, that has two different versions. It says that it blooms, so it, they had the wrong Pokedex entry uh, for Hopip down at the bottom there. And uh, so there's an error version of this. I had that in my recent um, opening where I was searching for errors. We found both in uh, both the regular and reverse hollow versions. So I have them all now, which is really nice. Uh, really cool. Apparently not that rare because I, I did order a lot of them, but I got lots of the error and I got lots of the uh, corrected version. Houndoom looking through the sky. We get a nice a dark background here for the dark Pokemon. And it looks really cool with the, the fire type. Next. Next page. Cool. We got the Incineroar of V, which is pretty neat. It's nice to see uh, an artist do a lot of different uh, rarities. So we got the alt art. We got the V here. Uh, we had uh, the two-third art card. And then we had a lot of hollows and non-hollows to go with. We got the uh, Jolteon Delta Species. So I guess... Yeah, there's got to be some segment of like the Delta species that aren't Delta species, but I'm going to have to take a look through those set lists to kind of figure out what's going on. Jirachi Prism Star. So here's another type, rarity type, or type of card, I guess. So another way that we can see a, a different perspective on this artist, on any artist, to see different versions and different eras. And over this period of time is, is kind of a treat. Jolteon, we get the Kabutops again in that art style that man, it's just it's so good. It's so good. We got the little little the little line work. We got the shading is on point. The hollow works really well with this where the Pokemon takes up a good chunk of the, the card itself. Uh, nothing too distracting or too difficult to like hollow or non hollow to see. Um, you can still tell it's a cave, which is nice. Sometimes it washes up the background too much be interesting to know how much planning actually went into something like that. We had the uh, we had the baby shinies as well. So there's another like artwork type or, care, or card type that we got to see. 
as well as like the Delta species stuff. I do like this Larvitar on the top right here. Uh, these like clouds that are coming in, really cool how the uh, the artwork is done on those. We got the tower in the background. We got a leafy on doing a little. It looks like I guess this is a leaf guard. Ladias, Ladios with the uh, matching artwork in over top of the city. I think it would have been a little bit nicer if we had if we could see both of them. Uh, like one of them in the background, the other one from a different perspective, but still cool that they're matching. Uh, we got the SM-135 and 136. I can't remember what product those came from, but I think I have both of them. We got the uh, Levani hanging out on a branch. I kind of liked Levani as a Pokemon, other than the fact that if you ever heard Levani in the anime talk, it is, it's, it's something. It's uh, it's definitely something. It's kind of sort of like ca catches you off guard, how like Dragonite just makes some like weird noises instead of uh, <laughs> saying his own name. Levani says its own name, but it's just like in this weird. Uh, uh, it's it's it catches you off guard. If you know, you know. All right, where are we at? Low Punny. Shout out to PFM, the Low Punny Master, Lucarios. We got a we got a few Lucarios, including the baby shiny. I think if I had to pick my favorite, it's probably going to uh, to be this one right here with the bulk up. It looks like it's using bulk up. Very cool from Unleashed. We got the Luxray and GL. I love these. Anything with like the the trainer or the gym leader, or whatever that uh, owns the Pokemon, I think is is really cool. It adds a nice little aspect to it. A nice little imagination. Love this Machamp. See, if the, I feel like this is lacking that like little bit of like line line work. It has the shading like a lot of the old stuff does, but it doesn't have the uh, the lines. I don't, the lines just do it for me, guys. I don't know what it is, but it does. We got a Magneton. Really cool holographic here and has the lines. Beautiful. See, no lines, the lines. It just adds like a whole you very unique, very distinctive um, style. Adds character. It adds character of some kind. I don't know what it is. You guys, let me know if if it's just me. Maybe it's just me losing my mind. We got some Mawiles coming up, and again, here is the the artwork with the the path coming through with the Mawile running off in the opposite direction. And I'd have to say that this is probably my favorite uh, and my favorite of the two Mawiles. Uh, this one is nice. We have the Breakpoint Mawile here. have lots of those. But this one here where it has the the matching artworks where they're going through the, the forest is just it's too too good. Too good for its own good. We've got some Meditites, Melmetal, Meloetta, Meltan, Meowth. The, is this the Game Boy promo? No, this was from something else. If you guys know what this promo was from, let me know. Number 13, Meowth. It's not the Game Boy promo, because the Game Boy promo had the marking of the Game Boy promo. Not sure what this is. Very early promo, Black Star promo. From the the uh, Nintendo era. I like this Meowth here on the right. It's really nice. Very cool. We got the uh, Secret Rare Meowth here. For anyone that doesn't know, 102 out of 101 from Noble Victories. And it has like this, it has the Meowth coin on the uh, the card itself. Very cool. Here's the Meowth. So I was right. There was a Meowth that goes with this uh, scene through the woods. Pretty cool. Metagross Matangs. We got a Mew. Do you like this Mew? Very, very cool. We got the the Full Art XY 110 Black Star promo Mew. These uh, these are interesting. So like these were in a bunch of like box sets, I believe. Uh, that and many others of those XY promos. We got the mill tank again with the. It's got the nice lines on it. I'm the, <laughs> the whole video is just me talking about how the the line the line style artwork is the best artwork. Moltres as well. Just just really awesome. Different, in my opinion, my favorite, but. Uh, is it necessarily better or more skilled? Probably not, um, but I don't know. It's just it's 
it's it's got like a, a certain simplicity and style to it that I just it, it's really really my favorite. All right, next page. Where are we at? Page seven. We got the octillery, very beautiful. The enamel there. A couple of Oma stars, looking cool. We got the oracorio dancing. So we're right here on Guardians Rising. We got the sandcastle. Be interesting to see a lot of these uh, these Pokemon when they make a resurgence. It'd be nice to see some of the higher rarity stuff with some of the Pokemon that are kind of underutilized. Uh, I know it, it might not necessarily sell things, but I think it, it would be a nice change of pace. We see a lot of the same Pokemon being used over and over again. So to, to see some new ones, to see some different ones is, uh, is always a nice... Oh my, look at all these Pikachus. We got all sorts of Pikachus here. If you guys had to pick a favorite Pikachu, do you have one? I forgot that Saitu did the uh, the America Pikachu. So if you guys notice here, we got the stars in the sky, and then we got the the cliffs, sort of make the stripes. So this is America Chew, if you will. But uh, yeah, I don't know. This uh, this one's pretty good. I like this the perspective on this one as well. Our undaunted Pikachu versus our uh, Black Star promo. I think those are my two favorite. Maybe we'll go with our favorite is the Undaunted, and our second favorite is the number 12 Black Star promo. We get the Plusel. Very cool. It's too bad the uh, we're in alphabetical order, so the Plusels and the Minions aren't next to each other. This one definitely has matching artwork, and I'm assuming it's from the same artist. We get the Porygons. Do love a good Porygon for anyone that doesn't know Porygon, one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen One. That ditto as well. I know, sort of weird picks. We got Psyduck here. I like this where you got the X's and the I's. KO'd, confusion waved in the next week. Pupitar, lightning type. We got some beautiful Rachus. Uh, this one here, yeah, this is Undaunted as well. So it sort of has like a matching artwork to the, the Pikachu that we were looking at that we picked as our favorite. I guess this will have to be the favorite as well. Although this one here is pretty pretty nice. We got a little bit of the line stuff going on. Maybe later on, Hall on Phantoms started getting away from it. Rapidash, Rayquaza, Reggie Drago, Reggie Gigas. We got quite a, quite a few uh, Reggies here. Are we going to see more Reggies? Reggie Gigas as well, Reggie Rock, Reggie Steel. It'd be cool if one artist did all the Reggies for the same set. I don't know if that's happened or not. So again, that's one of those things. If anyone knows, do let me know. But uh, I don't think it's happened. We've seen all the Reggies recently, but I'm pretty sure they're done by different artists. Be interesting to see. There'd be quite a few artworks in one set to have one artist do the entire thing, but I think that'd be a very cool if they had some sort of uh, matching artwork would be really cool to to see them all in one spot. We got the right horn, the right down. I know Blasty is uh, watching this and very excited about this Sand Shrew and Sand Slash from Sandstorm. Pretty cool. Lots of sand going on. Salamance here. I love this with the uh, the breath coming out or the Dragon Flame. I guess it is with the uh, Sizor. Sizor art is always good too. I feel like it's easy to make this Pokemon look menacing. So anything on top of that is just you slap some really good artwork, some really artistic flair and or skill on top of that, and it's gonna be a good looking Sizor. Same with Dragonair. There's Dragonair is always good. Celio, C dot, Sharpedo, Shaman. We got the Shedinja. The shell gone like this. We got the kind of like blurred background to get the uh, the movement. Same with the uh, Shedinja, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure what's going on with the shield on. Something weird. Uh, we got a hard face here. I guess we got rocks being thrown at this poor shield on over here. The shining Arceus. So we did get a shining card out of uh, Satu. Simiseer, Sinistee, Sizzlypede, Skarmory. I feel like I'm doing the poker rap. All right, here we got the uh, Smeargle coming up. The Smeargle with the uh, the forest scene. Uh, 
it'd be cool to know if there's like an actual story behind this or what's going on or they're just kind of all come through the same pathway and they leave their mark and you got to look at which order they came in i guess we could do that too i should take a look at that maybe they if you put them in a certain order see exactly what's going on but very cool very iconic in my opinion uh and uh, it, i might have a little bit of bias there just because there's a mall while involved but uh, always seeing like art that is that tells a story or that has like matching things or perspectives is is cool to see. We get the Sui Kun Pop Series Two and Lost Thunder. This Lost Thunder Sui Kun is nice, really nice. Swamper hanging out there. We got the Tangrowth slap in the ground. Really cool. Tapu Coco, we got Prism Star, another Prism Star. Very interesting. Oh, and we got the uh, Team Aqua. We'll have to see if there's any Team Magma. I guess there's not because it would be in under the T team. So just a couple Team Aquas. These sets are very cool. Uh, love, again, we got the like the storytelling. We got the, the trainers. This poor little Numel here is getting mucked on. Teddy Ursa, love do love me a Teddy Ursa. Quite a, a cute little mon. Thwacky, coming through the snow. Speaking of snow, we got that uh, advent calendar coming out, which is pretty exciting. Unfortunately, the Pikachu looks like it is, it's not winter themed. That seems to be a thing. They just like slop in a, a Pikachu. Uh, even though it's not ice type or there's no like Pikachu in the snow that's available from recent stuff. So they they just put a regular Pikachu in that doesn't exactly look like it fits the theme of like winter Pokemon. We got the uh, Toxel, Baby Shiny, Tropius, a Banana banana Dragon, if you will. Trubbish here. Not sure what's happened to this Trubbish. He looks like he's in pain. Typhlosion, beautiful artwork here. I love this. We got the action shot, um, kind of debris flying all over the place. Beautiful Umbreon here. It's not an Umbreon card without a moon in the background. We got a Tyranitar with the moon as well. And these are like the, the clouds, the returning clouds. So I have to see if, are these clouds all from the same set? We got Triumph, we got Unleashed, Unleashed. Maybe they are. That would be cool. I'm going to have to take a look at Unleashed. Maybe all the cards from Unleashed. So it's probably a theme uh, that goes throughout them. I've never noticed this before, but uh, I do like it. It's nice. I like it. We got the Venusaur hanging out. Vaporeon in the Delta Species water type. So the Evolutions, I think all three probably from that same set uh, by the same artist, which is pretty cool. Noticing some trends here. We got a Waylord for a Waylord in the uh, Discord. This is a pretty good Waylord. I'll give it that. Victini, probably my favorite fire type Pokemon that I can think of. Whenever asked, that's usually the answer I give. We got a Whimsicott, second favorite Pokemon overall. I love this. We got the very Sun and Moon style artwork here. We got the uh, Tropical. We got the Umbrella. We got the, the Palm Trees. Really, really cool. Weezing for some reason too. I just really like Weezing art. I don't know what it is, but it it just it, it's usually pretty good. Give a good artist uh, a Weezing artwork to do, and you're gonna. I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. Wishy washy. Uh, I think I like this Pokemon more just because people kind of hate it. Uh, it's like the it's the underdog, and then he he gets together with all his friends into school form. And uh, you get that, you get a big wishy washy made out of wishy washies. Wingles probably the most featured Pokemon in the background of more than any other Pokemon, just because anytime there's a beach, people like to slap a Wingle or two in the background. With the Azatu Delta species, a little Whooper action, Yan Mega, very cool. The Zangoose. I would imagine that there's probably a matching Viper for this. The Zacian and Zamazenta, this is cool. Um, so I'm assuming that this is actually supposed to be how the cards line up so that they're kind of facing each other, which is pretty neat. 
sort of if there was some more mountainside in the in the middle here and these trees kind of match up cool to see them side by side like that cool that they're matching artworks cool that they're by the same artist Zerud, Zepstrika, Zera Aura. I do like the Zera Aura. Um, gotta highlight the fact that this artist is absolutely amazing at like movement or like debris action shots where it kind of feels like your Zera Aura here is actually smashing the ground or your Zora Arc is actually stepping into the water and making a splash, that kind of thing. M a little bit more exciting than than something like the Zora here is just kind of standing in the in the background. Looks like maybe the background wasn't necessarily designed for the Pokemon versus like here, you know, you know what you're doing. You know that this background is designed for the Pokemon. It needs to splash where the, the foot is in the water here. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think. I'll put the links down below to the the sites that we looked at and uh, you, you guys let me know what's your favorite. What do you like? What do you not like? Uh, I think with this example, uh, also, if you're looking to get something signed, what would it be? And uh, if there's a particular art style or era that you like from this artist the best, let me know that as well. Why not, right? Join the Discord. See you next time. Bye.